guys, I have an emergency video to make with you because there is some news that are released about the GDP and the economy that are seriously going to affect the markets in the coming months. So make sure you watch this video all the way to the end. I'm not going to make a long video, but we got to talk about this because we are much, much closer to a recession than we realize. And you need to know about this. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? This is JC, and welcome to the Wealth Engineering channel. This is where I create content so that you can learn how to make, keep, and multiply money in the world of crypto and also stocks. But hey, when we talk about the entire economy, you need to understand that the forces that can affect your wealth and sometimes things that happens in a global economy can also indirectly affect your portfolio, your stocks, and your cryptos. <laughs> So that's why it's good to keep an eye on the global economy, see the big moves, the macro aspect of the economy, and see how that's going to translate into stocks and crypto, for You're example. You're probably noticing a lot of stocks are actually crashing, uh, also some cryptocurrencies And too. I'm predicting this is just the beginning. Wait a minute! Because what I'm about to show you is revealing some serious flaws in the economy as we speak. It was just released yesterday that the US GDP fell at 1.4%, right? Now you might think this is small, but when you factor what exactly is the recession and how we define a recession, this is a big deal, right? First, when you need a quarter, right? We need two consecutive quarters of bad GDP performance to be in a recession. And hey, once we are in a recession, who knows what can happen next, but that's not even the topic right now. The point is we're already looking at one bad quarter in 2022 of bad GDP and the signs are not encouraging when it comes to what the next quarter is going to be. Another article released that hey, the US economy shrank in the first three months of the year, contracting by 0.4% in the first quarter or, one, or minus 1.4% on an annualized basis, it's the weakest quarter since the early days of the pandemics, all right? Now, hey, you've seen how the price crashes in a pandemic, but it's quickly rose up and we had a V-shaped recovery. But from what we're seeing right now, we might be at the end of this recovery when actually heading on the way down and we're just not seeing it yet, right? For to be officially in a recession, we need two consecutive quarters. So that means the next three months are going to be very crucial to understand what's happening in the market. And I promise you, most investors will not wait at the end of three months to trigger their massive sales. They're going to start triggering it right now. And that's one of the reasons why we're seeing the market crashing right now, because they see what's coming. They see inflation rising, the prices rising, GDP is falling, and the Fed is not going to increase the interest rate. So we have a problem here. We have a problem, and I believe this is just the beginning. If we're looking at the stock market, the the last decades, we've only been going up, 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 up. But if you're looking at what's been happening lately, just looking at the top of the curve, it seems that we're not only started to slow down in terms of uh, how high we're going, but we're starting to create a lower low. And that's a problem right here, because if this becomes a trend, then we're only going to be going low from the next weeks and almost at the end of the month. I'm predicting that Hey, 2022 is definitely the year that we're going to have a recession. I've been waiting for this recession since 2021. For those who are all on my channel, you've seen that, hey, maybe I was too early on my prediction. The chances that we're most likely going to get the recession before the end of the year and the next quarter is crucial. Now, here's the sad story about cryptocurrencies. Cryptocurrencies are still part of the tech, right? The tech industry, the tech bubble. When the tech industry does well, cryptocurrencies does well. So naturally, when the tech industry does bad, crypto also does bad, right? It's not necessarily fully correlated. Like it's not like the tech industry controls the bear and bull cycles, but there are some big dips and one big dip could trigger a trend that could last a long time. And that trend will come from the stock market first. And that stock market will come also from the bad GDP growth, the bad economy, the con an economy that was sold to us as being strong. But yet again, we're seeing more and more proof that it's a lot weaker than we expected. If we're looking at crypto right now and to want to keep it simple, we're seeing this triangle here that normally symbolize on indecisions. So Bitcoin is basically building some momentum and it's going to make a break 
either on the upside or on the downside. But what scares me in this chart is that I'm looking at the weekly charts right here, the weekly candles, and I'm starting to see some curves right here, right? This is not good. This is not good at all. The longer the time frame, the more significant the trend is. And if I'm seeing a curve and it's the curve is slowly going to head on a downside on the weekly chart, that means we're going to have weeks of uh, price actives on the downside of this curve. And that necessarily means that, hey, we might even see 25, 20,000 Bitcoins before the end of the year. So we'll wait and see how that goes. Uh, definitely a challenge we're going to see uh, if that continues, we're going to see a touch on this line right here. So that's around 20,000. So that's, and if Bitcoin goes down, a lot of cryptocurrencies are also going so down. you need to keep that in mind. All right. So to recap, the breaking news is the first GDP of 2022 has been going low, lower than expected. And if we have a second GDP, especially the next three months, if the GDP of the U.S. economy is also bad, officially we're going to have a recession and once that is being sold to the market to the retail investors most people are going to dump their stocks dump their cryptocurrencies and the price drop that you have seen so far is only the beginning we're going to see much much worse so i would definitely recommend most people to get ready for this scenario because it could happen in the next three months make sure you watch this stream make sure you watch this channel subscribe hit the like and let me know in the comment section how do you feel about this what do you think will happen we're also going to keep a close eye in the coming weeks on the stock market and crypto market so make sure you subscribe and definitely hit the like button with that said we'll talk on the next one hey yeah it's all about wealth engineering might be something that you're not used to it's okay because i'm here to introduce you to concepts time to grow and make big moves all about crypto come see stocks and business yes indeed got the info that you need hosted by my homie jc hey